In the turbine section, the turbine blades are uh, exposed to a significant amount of centrifugal force, and they're also exposed to a significant amount of heat. Now, when we apply the centrifugal force to the blade, you know, it will cause it to elongate. And when we apply heat to the blade, it will also cause it to, to elongate. So over the life of the blade, as it goes into operation, the blade will expand, and then when the aircraft lands, it will contract and expand and contract. So for each flight cycle, there will be some expansion and contraction. However, over time, uh, the elasticity will be, will be slightly lost, and the blade will expand, and it won't contract to its original position. And when that is said to have occurred, uh, we have what is called creep. Now, creep has a limit. You know, if, if the blade was originally at this height, and it has now, you know, due to the expansion, creeped up to this height, then there is the chance that the blade will rub against the casing. That would cause uh, it would cause damage, and uh, it's an unsafe condition. So what the engine manufacturers uh, have done to to combat this creep is uh, they've changed the method in which they cast the blades. So originally the blades were cast using traditional casting methods. When the alloy was cooled, we got these. Uh, crystals forming and they're all in um, what's called an equiaxed crystal structure. Okay, so there's boundaries going in all in all the different directions. They improved upon that casting in the late 70s, early 80s using using directionally solidified uh, casting. So with, with this method the, the crystals were sort of grown in one direction. And it was in the direction of the centrifugal force. And we can see the, uh, the grains here going in more or less one direction, which is an improvement on, on this uh, traditional form. And then in the early 90s, um, single crystal blades um, were introduced. And a single crystal blade, or, or single crystal blades, they're made from alloys that are cooled very slowly to form large grains or crystals. And the grains are large enough to make a blade. Uh, a grain is a group of atoms that form during cooling into a very orderly pattern. Therefore, the atomic structure of a single crystal blade is very uniform, which enhances strength and temperature resistance. Single crystal casting where only one grain of material forms in the mould, rather than millions of grains bound together, as is the case with traditional casting. Now, with only one grain and no grain boundaries, corrosion due to expansion is all but eliminated. So the single crystal blade has enhanced strength and temperature resistance. So it is not as prone to creep um, as the earlier blade manufacturing processes. Um, now this was all taken from the, um, the jet engine. Uh, it's a book published by Rolls-Royce. And also in that book, there is a graph showing the um, time taking for the blades to get to their creep limit. So the traditional blade would have reached its blade uh, creep limit at this time, the directionally solidified at this time, whereas the single crystal blade uh, out at this time, which is, you know, would we say double or twice the life of the original uh, uh, original blade. The blades. Uh, this is what they may look like. So this is the equiaxed crystal structure. So this is the traditional method. This is directionally solidified. And this is the single crystal uh, blade.
And again, that's all from uh, from Rolls Royce. If we were to put them under uh, a microscope, that's what we uh, that's what we'd see. So you can see the equiax structure, the directionally solidified structure, and then just a single uh, structure. All right, so that's blade creep and how it has been tackled.